Hi, my name is Commander Chris Hadfield. I've had a chance to fly in space three times, and that means I've flown three different rockets. And something I've observed recently is that the whole launch industry is changing. There are new companies doing it in innovative ways, companies you've probably heard of like SpaceX and uh, Blue Origin and uh, Virgin Galactic. And the leaders of tomorrow, much like the leaders of those companies, will be those who can harness the, uh, the opportunity and the inspiration that that brings, but also to take chances and, and dare to try new things and tap into new markets with that. And in Canada, there's, there's no better example of that than the 20 or so university rocket teams right across the country that are working on just that problem. And they have gone to international competitions and shown that we have the right stuff. And yet we're just not developing it and supporting it here at home in Canada. Far too often, because of that lack of support, they're forced to abandon their passion or break up their team. And what we need is, is some sort of organizing force to give people both the confidence and the, uh, the environment to thrive. And the Launch Canada Rocket Innovation Challenge aims to do just that. Uh, it's the first competition of this kind in Canada. Think of the opportunities that it gives to us right now, but also in the future. Everything that's beyond our atmosphere. Rocketeers from Canada pushing the very edges of the envelope. Space launch is not just for the global superpowers anymore. And, and more Canadians have been working on it and proving it than ever, any time in the past. I support the Launch Canada Challenge. And there's an opportunity for you to as well. Uh, the goals are interesting and they're inspirational for our, our young engineers. And it gives us the opportunity to, to gain an altitude and a perspective that has been unavailable to us in the past. Let's show the world what we can accomplish together.